somebody has told you dudes the wrong thing. Somebody is misleading you. Somebody wants you to stay in the condition that you find yourself in today. Now that's not your brother Larry. And I doubt very seriously if it's President Barack Hussein Obama. I don't think that brother has your worst interests at heart. I really think that if you stood up you might find yourself in a better position but since you seem to take such comfort and delight in acquiescing that's why you still find yourself where you find yourself by yourself on the bottom Y'all see me have a problem with calls my brothers. Stand up. You've been sitting down so long. You've been staring down for so long. You've been on your knees for so long that you have got comfortable down there. So when brothers say stand up, y'all start making excuses. Y'all got every kind of straw man argument that has ever been devised. I'm not voting at the white man system. But you the one claiming that you the indigenous capital natives of America. You the one claiming that the slave trade didn't happen. The transatlantic slave trade never occurred. That you were already here in America. And that the name is not actually America. It's Al Maraca. You need your Al Maraca whip. I really don't understand. Who's tricking you, man? I told you once before, it's a lot of mind games and tricks being employed against you, against your struggle, against your best interests, but yet and still, you persist, you don't want to get up, you don't want to get involved, you don't want to get into it, you rather let them do it. If you don't stand up for yourself, that means you're really standing up for somebody else, even if you sit down. Because if you allow people who have your worst interest and heart to prevail, that's just like shooting yourself in the head. Suicide by any means or by any other means is still suicide. If you run into a brick wall as fast as you can, or if you jump off a building like you an airplane man, or if you go mess with a cop that you know is gonna shoot you, and you think like you got a gun, that's suicide. So if you turn over willingly, power to those who seek your destruction. That's suicide. You are supposed to fight, like Brother Malcolm said, by any means necessary. Politics is a means. The vote is a means. And it is necessary. When you look at local elections, and you look at brothers like Charles Barron, if we didn't vote, Charles Barron would never be a city council member. Never! Do you actually think they would vote for Charles Barron? So that's up to you and me. The people who live in his congressional district or his, his uh, uh, city council district. Do 
Because that's the only way brothers that try to do something for you to get elected. If you participate. So you telling me you don't understand this? You have a problem comprehending this? Now, Brother Side Letter made a video to vote or not to vote. Part two. And you see the babies. And you see the grandmothers. And you see the sisters and the brothers telling you that it's important to vote. That it's important to express your right to vote. That your ancestors died for you to have this right. And that by acquiescing, you are actually surrendering to those who sick dogs on your ancestors, shot them with water hoses and beat them with clubs and arrested them and locked them in jails just because they wanted to vote so that they could make a difference where they were. They didn't just want to blindly vote for anybody. They were trying to enact strategies of self-determination. They were trying to take control of those local reins of power. But y'all don't understand that. See, y'all used to being told what to do. I'm surprised at some of y'all. But that's basically what I expected from some of y'all. When I look around and I listen and I hear the way that you talk to each other, I hear the way that you talk about each other, and I hear the things that you say about yourself. A nigga like me, my nigga, man, we niggas. I'm not surprised that you still think voting don't matter. That's what they taught you on the plantation. Don't question the master. The master's always right. And you still think the master's always right. You still think the master's always right. You still think the master is always right. It's time for you to get a grip. It's time for you to realize. It's time for you to stop playing games. I'm saying. not want to fight, but they gonna bring the fight to you. You might not want to stand up, but they just gonna roll over you. You might think if you keep your head low and you be quiet, that they'll let you live in peace. That's not likely. They gonna look at you like you not fight. You must want to be a slave, so if you not on your feet, then you on your knees, and if you on your knees, you got to be begging somebody, please, please, Lord Jesus, please, Allah, please, Father God, protect me from my enemies. I don't believe you cats actually belong to an empire. Once upon a time, what happened to your hearts? I'm scheduling an appointment. A mass appointment. I'm sending all of y'all the arms. Some of y'all gonna get new hearts. Some of y'all some courage. Most of y'all gonna get brains though. Need to learn how to think. Need to learn how to strategically think about the things we have to do. Cause right now. Not the way it's supposed to. Things should be different by now. 160 years later, we're not supposed to be having the same conversation. Yet it's still, because you're not standing up. Put those 
issues in the smash. Once and for all, it's time to spare and decisive signals that we ain't having it, y'all. Let it get it together. Let it wake on up. 